Hi Libra, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to your week ahead. Libra, this is from the 26th to the 1st of September. And your major arcana, the major influence that will be surrounding you this upcoming week is the Hierophant. Uh, Hierophant is a very spiritual card. Maybe the universe is backing you in something or maybe you need to put your life into some kind of a structure or balance or organize something. So let's see what this Hierophant card means for you, uh, Libra. Let's take one card for each day, uh, Monday to Sunday and see why the Hierophant is here. What should my Libra gang be expecting now and what should they be prepared for spirit? One card for each day, Monday to Sunday. And then, of course, we clarify them as required. Monday to Sunday. All right. So for Monday, I have, oh, the Nine of Cups. Starting off on a very good note, feeling very happy, feeling all your wishes and dreams are coming true. Tuesday, I have the Justice card. Yes, things are coming into structure and balance. Wednesday, the King of Wands, excited about uh, something which is going to get you a lot of victory and success on Thursday. Friday, Nine of Pentacles, so financially feeling very safe and secure, giving yourself a pat on the back, money is increasing, you're feeling that yes, I've managed to accomplish a lot by myself this week. And uh, Saturday, Hanged Man, time to take a rest. And Sunday, Six of Swords, uh, in a very peaceful, calm, happy space on Sunday, leaving some troubles behind. That's, oh, chariot. I had this as, a, and I did the pre-shuffle for you and I had the chariot there. And I was wondering, what's happening with the chariot spirit for Libra? Where are they going totally focused and, you know, accomplishing all their goals? And here it is. The overall energy is again the chariot. So, very dedicated, very focused. And so, let's begin. Let's begin with Monday. Uh, no, before that, let me take an affirmation for you, Libra. Let's see what you should be affirming to yourself. So, uh, you can, uh, you know, come to this place of financial independence and feeling relaxed and feeling victorious. Spirit, tell me, for Libra, what should they be affirming to themselves this up for this upcoming week? And the affirmation, Libra, that I have for you is curiosity. I explore the wonder of life. See life through the curious eyes of a child and you will discover a never-ending source of happiness and excitement. That's your first card anyway. Uh, curiosity keeps you alive, interested and interesting. The angels are inviting you to be curious about yourself. Start exploring who you are and you will grow personally and spiritually. Be interested in people and you will discover an eternal source of fascination. Be curious about this wonderful universe in which you live, about the angels themselves and their role in the divine plan. The radiance of your delight in life will illuminate you. All right, so the affirmation Libra for you is I explore the wonder of life. So now let's begin. Okay, Spirit, tell me for Monday. Why is Libra in this Nine of Cups energy? I have the Nine of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. So overall, feeling very satisfied. A very satisfying week ahead, Libra, from what I see. So tell me about the Nine of Cups. Why is Libra jumping with joy and feeling, yes, all my wishes and dreams are coming true? Uh, Page of Cups, maybe there is a, maybe something to do with children, maybe. Or maybe you get some good news or you're connecting with a friend and, you know, kind of celebrating or in, enjoying yourself. Yeah, you may just take some time out on Monday just to enjoy yourself and feel the wonder of life. Yep, it's a slow moving day, no, but not a bad one. See, some days can be slow and frustrating. Some days can be like, I'm in a good mood today. I don't really feel like doing anything much. Let me just enjoy the day. I know it's a Monday, but I, I'm feeling good. I'm just feeling good. So I just want, I don't want to have any more stress in my life. I just want to feel good. Maybe talk to a friend or connect with a, you know, relative or a sibling or something like that and just enjoy the day. Why? Because you think you are feeling that things are pretty much balanced. Why, why is the justice card here on Tuesday? Why is the uh, justice card? Because see, six of wands twice. 
Six of Wands is a card of victory, success, feeling that you've accomplished something that you truly wanted in the spotlight, getting accolades from others, feeling that, yes, I deserve it. I deserve it. You have been working really, really hard. And I think on Tuesday as well, that is, it's going to be a day of communication. Tuesday is going to be when you may be talking to a lot of people or maybe having meetings. I don't see the, it as a night, eight of pentacles where you are really working, working, working. But it's more a day of communication. Uh, communication, feeling good, feeling seen, feeling heard, no longer feeling lack in your life. Wednesday again, I see you in the king of wands energy, all excited and wanting to charge forward maybe with new ideas uh, you know the universe is backing you a hydrofont is here and hydrofont is here i think the the confidence that you're gaining within yourself this upcoming week is because you somewhere are feeling that you are getting justice for maybe your past and there is an offer coming your way as well ace of pentacles so maybe money looks good you have had a new offer and no wonder you're celebrating this upcoming week uh, you will be you are in the king of wands queen of wands energy you're excited you're feeling good you're feeling confident you are feeling seen you're feeling heard and uh, thursday again six of wands standing in the spotlight getting attention well it's just like raising our arms to the universe and saying thank you thank you for the success and victory uh, it's a very very good week coming up for you libra uh, six of wands thursday yep uh, six of swords i have the six of swords here and i have the six of swords for sunday so overall during the week I mean, each day rolls into another, right? So that feeling that, yes, you are fi finally you're leaving your troubles behind and moving on to a place of peace is going to continue to grow throughout the week. I have it on Thursday and I have it for Sunday as well. The same feeling. Why? Because on Friday, I have the nine of pentacles where you feel all your hard work has paid off and you did it by yourself. Maybe there is some material success or some news that you're going to get this week which will make you feel yes i'm finally growing money on trees or you know i should give myself a pat on the back i'm feeling safe i'm feeling secure nine of pentacles nine of nine of pentacles king of pentacles but you i think on friday will take some time out maybe to investigate further as to how you can grow what you already have grown till now uh, maybe you'll do a little bit of research or maybe talk to some people, maybe get advice from others as to how you can turn your nine pentacles into an even higher state of feeling safe and secure. Like where should I invest in and now that I have this much, what, what can I do to multiply this money? So all that, the uh, page of swords is a card of uh, investigation or trying to find out information. I mean, I already see you in a secure place, but I think you are trying to find out ways to make that grow even more so sunday i do a saturday i do see you uh, trying to see things from different perspectives maybe getting advice from other people and seeing things from their perspective as to somebody may say okay why don't you do this why don't you invest here why don't you do that so you will be soaking in a lot of information on the weekend and you will take your own time out to study all these uh, new insights that you'll be getting a hanged man spirit for saturday hanged man hanged man you're going to take your time you're not going to rush it you you are very focused on what you want and you are heading there that way ten of pentacles right your focus is how do i turn my nine pentacles into the ten pentacles and you don't want to be rushed so you will be taking out uh, temperance card is again of somebody kind of just going back and forth and feeling relaxed, relaxed, but focused on, you know, kind of coming with the best solution. It's like when you go to a chemistry lab and you have these two, uh, you know, acids or whatever you have and you're pouring one into the other to make that perfect magic formula. So I think Saturday will be the day where you're going to take time out to study all different advices that you've got maybe or whatever you've found out or understood about how to grow your finances even bigger i think that's going to be the day where you will not be rushed 
uh, you are already sitting in a very very comfortable place of the nine of pentacles and you're not going to be rushing it to say okay the first thing that i have been told let me jump into that or take a risk no i see you being very meticulous on sunday i think it's going to be a very very relaxed day and it's going to be like yeah you know what i'm not going to you know bother my head too much i'm just going to sail away and feel the peace of this sunday tell me why uh, king of swords uh, sorry six of swords six of swords for sunday you don't want to be disturbed <laughs> you don't want to be dis disturbed you started off the week with a nine of cups energy I think that's the energy you're going to end the week with. You don't want any stresses. You don't want to be pushed. You don't want to make any quick decisions which can, you know, cause you any kind of uh, failure or uh, regression. You've already reached the nine and you don't want to go back to the seven or the eight. So you're going to, you're going to be in a happy, relaxed space even on Sunday to say, you know what, I'm going to take my time. Uh, I'm going to hang in there till I'm absolutely sure but this will be the week where you're already feeling successful uh, Libra you are already feeling stable and now you could be making plans for investments into the future but I don't see you rushing around and taking unnecessary risks either you're very focused on what you have to do next and you are on the right path chariot spirit Tell me about the chariot as the overall energy for Libra's reading today. Chariot. Yeah, see, seven of pentacles. This this is a card of investments. But somebody like really looking down at their pentacle and taking time to, you know, to kind of uh, internalize and think about what do I want to invest in next? If I, I could show you the other card from another deck, you'll see a farmer there and looking at the seeds and there are seven you know seeds there and saying okay i'm standing here and saying should i add more should i subtract more what will what will give me the best harvest that's the kind of mode i see you sit, sitting in, in in this upcoming week of course it's going to be a very happy week nine of cups is here twice nine of pentacles is here so you've reached the nines and now it's like what's next but I have to be careful because I don't want to go back into the eight of swords, six of, you know, seven. I don't want to regress. I want to go forward. So you're very focused on your future, but taking time to make the best decisions so that you can then multiply your abundance, which is a great way of doing things. Very relaxed and balanced energy. All right. So that's what I have for you. Till next time then. Love and light. Take care. Namaste Libra.